Ready, go. We're recording. <clears throat> it is now May 6, 2021. This is my favorite childhood photo. Can it focus? Huh, the camera's not focusing. Focus, autofocus usually works better than that. Let's see if I get out of the frame. It's not really focused. How interesting. There we go. Focus. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, well, you get the idea. This is me as an eight-year-old in San Diego, <clears throat> California, La Jolla, where my dad taught tennis. And uh, this is right before my mom decided we would leave San Diego. And it was devastating to me, but because my grandparents and my dad and my school and I missed San Diego. But this is uh, me right before the big trauma happened in my life uh, in San Diego. And um now I'm 52 years old and I was just in a therapy support group, uh, an art group, and I'm an accomplished artist and model. And that's something that's good and professional about me. And yet I'm afraid of having high self-esteem because I'm afraid it's narcissistic, which is kind of strange about me. And um, it's interesting how fragile I am, like how I'm very confident and yet fragile. So I'm very sensitive to people who, when they criticize me I was raised uh, by a mom and a grandmother and a dad who were sort of critical in some ways and sort of nice, sensitive people in other ways. And these are some self-portraits that I've done over the years. So I was just in a therapy uh, group with some other people and I'm struck again by how shy I can be. I, you know, when I'm in the therapy group, I don't act like because people that are fans of me as an art model or as a fan of Goddess Kring, my TV show, and, you know, this whole persona, because I do this to increase my confidence. I do this self-portraits. Some people have accused me of being a narcissist in a negative way, which is, I guess, a way of belittling and making fun of me. Um, but I think this is great art and... Um, my own personal opinion is, and I also appreciate like the artists like Cindy Sherman, who's a photographer who does self-portraits and Frida Kylo was a painter who did great self-portraits and Rembrandt also did great self-portraits. I, I appreciate uh, artists who did, who do self-portraits. I resonate with, and this is one of the most fierce, powerful self-portraits I've done, but it's just interesting today in the, in the therapy support group, self-portraits were the theme and some people are not comfortable doing self-portraits. I love doing self-portraits and I like it when other people, I like other artists who do self-portraits. Um, so I guess I just wanted to do a short video about self-confidence and self-esteem. And I think if somebody enjoys doing self-portraits, they should do that. But if they don't enjoy it, don't do it. And I really love doing self-portraits generally. Um, and I like modeling for other people and seeing artwork done of me by other people. Um, I appreciate it. It's like a collaboration. It's the art model and then the artist. And then I noticed some of the other art models in Seattle that I recognize in the drawings uh, an, art, uh, an art model named Shauna and an art model named um, Gloria. Um, those are two of the um, art models that are very busy like me, Gloria and Shauna. And I recognize uh, paintings and drawings of them. And it's interesting to see the different art styles. The different artists have different styles. And a lot of times the drawings and paintings look like a combination of the model and the artist combined. So I'm fascinated by that. And so I, I work with art and medical students and I'm confident doing that. Um, but it is sad to me that I'm still socially like very shy and insecure in a way. It's weird. But is that really how I feel or is that just my persona? See, we all have social masks. Interesting to feel aware of this. Like I'm still, I'm 52 years old, but I think part of me is still like a nine or 10 year old that is sad about having to leave San Diego. And it's like, I guess 
the big trauma that I suffered as a child wasn't my parents getting a divorce when I was four, because honestly, I don't really remember my parents being together. I remember seeing my dad on weekends more than I remember my parents being together in the same house with me. So I don't know if the divorce was as traumatic because they didn't get along. So I think it's good that my parents got a divorce when I was four. Too bad they couldn't work it out and stay together, but they didn't get along. And so I think it's fine that they split up. But leaving San Diego when I was nine, I don't know if I'm ever going to fully heal and recover from that. But maybe part of healing and recovering from that is to acknowledge that I will never heal and recover. Maybe that's as close as I'll get to feeling a sense of stability and a sense of confidence in myself and my right to exist. Because I think part of me feels like I never should have been born. Like my parents would have had better careers and love lives if I had never been born. But obviously I was born for a reason and I'm here and I exist. All of us exist here now. So this video is about self-confidence and self-awareness. And I'm just acknowledging how I feel today, which is May 6, 2021. I think I'm going to record my Goddess Kring radio show now. I, I took a couple weeks off and uh, just going to talk and share poetry. And I wrote a new poem uh, last night that I shared in my creative writing group online. And we meet online once a week and we meet in person once a week. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all of my work as a model with medical students as well as artists, both online and in person. So have a nice day, everyone. My website is shannonkringen.com. If you want to connect with me and see my artwork and my creative expression, I'm a free range human being. I love regenerative agriculture and the natural microbes in the forest and in my gut. So I'm a big time nature lover. So I'm not really a fan of humans trying to conquer and control nature with harsh chemicals. Uh, you do the math on that. So yeah, nature lover me. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye for now. I hope you get something out of my videos. Um, I know I get something out of recording them. So that's the main thing anyway, is self-empowerment. And I appreciate everyone's individuality. Sad to see when people stereotype each other and make assumptions about each other and lump each other into groups. Uh, everyone really is an individual. And yet we're all here together, cooperating or not cooperating, depending on what it is we're doing. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye for now.